Okay. Make a copy on the Flare 58. DF64 V grinder right here. Let me get all that cleaned up real quick from the last time. So I'm trying it at a thousand RPMs right now. I'm trying not to go too low because I'm doing espresso. You gotta be careful doing espresso on these lower RPMs. Oops. It's probably not even turned the right way, is it? No. There we go. Okay. I have a if I can even say it right, Ethiopian uh, Yurgachev. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I roasted this just the other day. I'm gonna go with 18 grams. With all my grinders, I just go a hair over. So I'll probably get that 18, I have 18.2 grams on the scale right now I'll probably get that out but just in case I like to have a little bit less I'm not sure if this is dialed in or not either I was doing uh, puck slams kind of like a row uh, bloom technique but I want to try doing a turbo shot this time um, and I think if I go about 9 or 10 I'll get about that so I'll get pretty close Kind of want to, especially with how many beans I have right here. I found you want to hot load this grinder. There's just too much volume going in for this lighter roast. So it's going to go nice and slow. Pump. Eighteen point two. It's probably a little bit of an exchange. A little bit of an exchange in there. Port filter is not quite hot enough yet, so do my little cheat. I just use some steam to heat the basket up. I think it can go get a little bit hotter. And if you have a kettle like this uh, Bonavita, you can carefully angle it over the handle. Then um, you don't have to hold on to that. Just gonna make sure I have the chamber wiped down. I have the uh, original model, so some coffee can build up on this little lip here. And then. That there now. So this is a VST basket, 18 gram VST basket. Um, I need to try this with. I haven't used this grinder yet with uh, my decent baskets. I should pull out the decent baskets and try it out. Nice puck. I have a feeling it's too fine. We'll find out. Um, see if I can actually get those camera positions and have it show underneath here without it falling over.
Hopefully it doesn't fall over while I'm doing this. That'd be unfortunate. So I have a heater on two. I like to do heater on two because on um, three it tends to boil the water and bubble. And then I just make my water temperature from the kettle hotter. So I have it at 211 degrees. And typically by the time I put it in, it gets to about 201, 202. So, timer on. It's probably a little bit too fine still, actually. For now, I'm putting two bars on it. I'm just holding it. I'm gonna go up to three. And then go. So, I'd probably go even coarser still, actually. But one thing I found about this Ethiopian coffee is it tastes really good being over extracted so i'm pulling about seven and a half bars and going on the seven right now so it's definitely not going to be a turbo <laughs> that's for sure i've been having some hard times dialing in this ethiopian i can definitely go coarser on it if i'm going to go for a turbo i've just been doing long shots on it I'm gonna shoot for about 48 grams out. Might be channeling a little bit. Okay. Get my purge cup in there. I'm not making any more coffee, so let's get this turned off. So this was definitely over extracted, probably, but like I said. So this coffee right here, I'm actually finding it tastes really good with uh, an over extraction. I get a lot more of the fruity, fermenty flavors I noticed. So I'll just give this a nice stir. And we'll see if I get those good fruity, fermenty notes or not. Lots of blueberry, a little bit of a spicy flavor in there. Not quite as much of the fermenty flavor as I got the first time, but the first time I did a really strong puck slam on it to get that. And I did like a 30 second pre-infuse, but it tastes really good. It's really good coffee. I'm really happy with it.